Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Diecast Masters Highline Series model. In this case, it's item number 85273. It's the Cat 793F mining truck in 150 scale. A little bit of brief history about this truck in the real world. In January 1991, the Cat 793 off-highway truck was introduced as the world's largest hauler. Cat engineers designed it to haul more than 240 tons of material, 45 more than the next largest haul truck at the time, the Cat 789. So again, if you follow heavy equipment and machinery and haul trucks in particular, now you know that the Cat currently offers the 797 as the largest haul truck. But again, at the time, this was revolutionary. It was much larger, 45 tons larger than the 789s. And many quarries and mines still run a fleet of the 793. It remains a favorite among many. So it's nice to see a model made of it, especially the 793F. So, as a first generation Highline series model, it does come with Bob, the operator, permanently affixed in the cab. You cannot remove him unless you want to modify your model yourself once you get it. Uh, these are adult collectible scale models. If you've never seen a review of this and you're just coming across your first Diecast Masters model, these are not toys. They're not intended for children. They are intended for the adult collect collector. They come in these Highline series boxes or metal tins, as you can see here. Very nice presentation or rendering of the model on the side. On top of the tin, you have a picture of the real truck at work in a mine or a quarry hauling some rock. And on the back of the tin, another picture of the 793. And if you'd like, I know it's a little bit difficult to see because it's hard to get this humongous box in the entire frame. But if you'd like to read the specification details, feel free to pause the video and check those out right over here. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the model, which is what you all really want to see. Here it is. So, this model was originally a Norscott model before Diecast Masters took it, massaged it, and made it a lot better. Um, again, the 793, a very large mine truck, so the model is very large, even in 1 to 50 scale. It's very nicely done. We'll start out with a little bit of the finer details. As you can see, the rubber tires have uh, a really nice color of black or rubber to them. They're not too shiny at all. The hubs are also very nicely done with even some nice lug nut detail in them. All of the stairs and grab rails here, they're all metal. They're not plastic, which looks excellent. A lot of times there will be some compromises, even on some of today's newer models, uh, where these hand and grab rails will be plastic. The only ones that are plastic is this section right here. This, 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 and this. That's all metal, as well as these that line the side of the cab over here on the left-hand side. There's two mirrors here and here. You have your lights, which are all painted in this nice orange or amber color. In fact, all of the decals, whether they be cat, caterpillar up here, which you... There you go. I can see a little bit better. All of those are very nice and high resolution and turn out great. And even the addition of the wheel chucks up here on, on the front just add that little bit of realism and look very, very good. Coming over here to the right side of the machine... 793F up here, you have two exhausts in black, which are a little bit difficult to see on camera, and then two pieces of fire suppression equipment up here in red. Moving to the rear of the machine, some great details up here, such as working suspension. You have your huge axle here. Here you can get an appreciation of the nice tread pattern on the tandem tires, your lights, as well as your cables here and these do come down if you want to um, kind of pose the truck having some service done on it you can pose it being locked and you have metal rock deflectors between the tandem tires and as its name would imply those are simply there to prevent large rocks from getting between the two tandem wheels underneath the truck there also is a fair amount of detail more so than on most models you have some nice engine detail. All of your steering is modeled because it is functional on this model, as well as other components back here. Even your stairs are modeled. All right. From the top down, if we look in your dump body. You can see that even all of this, this is all 
for the most part, die-cast metal, and there's a lot of casting detail in that huge dump body, or dump box back there. So, for the functionality, I mentioned that it has working steering, and it's best to look at that straight on. You can pose it either turning to the left or to the right, and you can get a really good angle either direction. And the wheels really don't foul the wheel arches or mud flaps or any of that. As a dump truck, the biggest thing you want any dump truck model to do is to dump to a reasonably good angle. And that passes that test, no problem. And that's helped by these three-stage cylinders right here, with this part of the cylinder being metal. One little subtle function on this truck, and it's best to do this by turning the truck on its side or turning it over and using a pointer and sticking it underneath and just kind of pushing it up. It can be a little finicky to get this to do what you want it to do, but as long as you get it started, it does stay open. And that is to open the, whoops, without me closing it, and that is to open the um, engine hatch. And again, it can be a little hard to see on camera, but there is a lot of engine detail in that opening engine hatch. So again, if you're posing the truck, getting some standard maintenance or service done to it, you can pose a couple of your figures up there on the deck here, getting some work done. Just a nice feature that they didn't have to include, but it's very nice that they did. So there you go, collectors. That is a review of the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 793F mining truck in 1 to 50 scale. A very, very well done model. These currently retail for about $190 US, which is about right for most mining truck models. They are very expensive because they are very large. They require a lot of detail and intricacy when it comes to die cast components. So that's about right when it comes to paying for something of this size. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but certainly if you collect mining models, you're going to want to add a mining truck to your collection. But let me know what you guys think. If you have any comments or questions or concerns, please leave them down below in the comment section. Until next time, take care, be safe, and we will see you in the next video.